It is almost 30 years since Europe's first inverted roller coaster opened at Alton Towers in Staffordshire. Now that is where your seat effectively hangs under the track rather than sitting on it. And Nemesis has terrified many thousands, including me, in the years that followed. Well, it temporarily closed in 2022 and after two years of major renovations, a redesigned and reimagined ride is now ready to open to the public. But before it does, we were invited to be one of the first to try it out. When well, I say we, we sent our reporter Lewis Swinnerton to jump on board. Safety harness, check. Buckle up, check. Fear stricken face, check. All set for a roller coaster ride, but more on that later. First, let's rewind to when Nemesis first arrived at Alton Towers. At the time, it was Europe's first inverted roller coaster, costing £10 million to build. But after years of adrenaline fueled rides, it was time for the ride to retire, making way for Nemesis Reborn. And after two years of major renovations, the ride is ready to go. How much work goes into creating and building something like this? Oh, <laughs> lots, absolutely lots, yeah. We, we, we've had to use a crane to lift everything in, so we've had something in the region of around 8,000 crane lifts going into the valley itself. So, yeah, it's, a, it's an immense amount of work. And like many theme park rides, this roller coaster has a story. So Nemesis is an alien predator from another dimension that has been kind of trapped here at Alton Towers. And the new story tells the story that the Phalanx, a secret organisation who've supposedly been caring for her, um, have been actually manipulating her DNA and have made her bigger, faster and stronger than ever before. Well, it's time. I've been invited to be one of the first to experience the brand new Nemesis Reborn ride. I've got the whole thing to myself and I'm told it's for only the bravest of thrill seekers. Not sure I describe myself as that, but it might be a bit too late to turn back now. Let's give it a go. Okay, off we go. The ride reaches speeds of around 55 miles per hour, hurtling passengers around 716 metres of track. The entire ride lasts around 40 seconds and has the capacity to carry around 1,300 passengers an hour. Oh. OK, it's fast. I can confirm it's fast. Woo! And that's it, I think. I'm out of breath. The ride opens to the public in two days' time. My advice? Hold on tight. Lois Swinnerton, ITV News, Alton Towers in Staffordshire. I think she did really well. Because it's not easy to, to talk and go on there. <laughs> Weird going on your own. I'm imagining that atmosphere. Is, yeah, we, we, we say that all day. It must be really eerie. Do you want to know how old I am? Go on. I went the year it opened the first time. Well, and I was see. a teenager then. Do you know what? It was horrendous. I hated it. So what did I do the next year? I went, went on back. It. You went on it again. Uh, yeah. but, but not so much in the in-between, no? No. <laughs> no.